That is true. That's kind of the neat thing about the Diablo story, that Tristram's hero, which is you, the player character in Diablo 1, ends up becoming, like, the worst evil person in the world. <laughs> and you're basically the one that can summon Diablo on a whim, and you have a gem in your forehead, and... You must stop him. All will be lost. Such a legendary character. Oh, it's so good. All right, and then we're gonna talk to a car. I risked your life to rescue Cain. For that, we thank you. We must seek his counsel immediately. Okay. Trade. Hmm. Okay. So actually, I can get that as my mace class. Nice. Damage goes up a little bit. Let's have a faster cast rate. Can she equip? No, she can't equip rings. Um, I can hold on to that ring. And plus three to mana. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, let's go in. Greetings. What up? Fled the monastery. I left behind the heraldic malice. My enchanted oh. I used magic to strengthen your equipment. Cool. So we're doing that. So that's tools of the trade. I'll talk to Deckard Cain and get that level. Right there. Actually, you. let's trade and repair. Repair. Let me sell that. Yep. Got almost three grand. Almost three grand. Awesome. And you can see a lot of these are available now when they weren't because I wasn't high enough level before. So we go talk to Kane. Where you at, Deckard? Deckard Kane! Stay a while and listen. There it is. That's what I wanted. This whole thing is now complete. Power Hour is a win because he said it. Oh, it's the best. The best. Actually, with that, that's a perfect thing to end the single player on. What I'm going to do now, uh, let's go save and exit. So whenever you click back on single player, you can you know, see your character right there. Um, let's exit right there. Let's do Battle.net. Battle.net, checking your version. Log in real quick. I actually, before we started, I had to make the new new deal. Let's create a new character. Um, let's make let's make a necromancer and name him Power Hour. So he's on the ladder. He's on the expansion character. All right, right there. Here's my duder. Level 1 Necromancer, last difficulty setting completed, none. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to enter chat. There's everybody right there. Look at that, level 50, level 61. See a whole bunch of people down here, level 94. Anyone with a red name is a hardcore character. Um, there's a whole bunch of people. There I am, power hour. Expansion character, level 1. You better believe it. So there's a whole bunch of people right here. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you, you see right here, of course, you can create a game. You can join one of your friend's games. Um, it shows the ladder, standard ladder. So it shows our experience. Um, let's see, a paladin, level 99 with... Um, <laughs> damn, 3,520 million experience. Um, and then it shows kind of the best of the, uh, the different classes and everything. So... I was in, I was in, let's see, it was, I want to say it was either right before, like I said before, it was either right before Lord of Destruction or right after it came out, top 100 in the U.S. West server um, as a barbarian. I think overall I was like, either like 190-ish or like 210 right around there so like overall 
in the world on that server. I was near the top 200, um, but I was in the top 100 of Barbarians, which was pretty rad, and that's whenever World 1 Barbarian was kind of a badass thing. But, you know, I'm not a type that really gets on leaderboards and stuff, but that was kind of one of my biggest gaming accomplishments, is being in the top 100 on a ranked uh, Blizzard ladder. Never again will I do that, because that took so much time. I think during the summer, let's see, that was... 13 years ago, so I was 15, I would spend, all I did for money then was mow lawns. So I would mow lawns in the morning, I would come home, be done around 9 or 10 a.m., and I would play till about 4 in the morning, sleep, wake up, go mow lawns at about 6 in the morning, and I did that for three weeks? So yeah, I was obsessed with Diablo 2 absolutely obsessed with it. Just such a good game. But yeah, my biggest compliment, top 100 Barbarian ranked US West. It was Icewind West. I'll never forget it. Icewind West was the character name. I hope there's like an archive ladder or something I can look at and see if my name's still on it. But, but yeah, that was many a moon ago. That was 13 years ago. God, good memories. But yes, this is one of the greatest games ever made. Definitely in my top 10, probably in my top 5, depending on the day in my top 3. Diablo 2, you can buy it on Battle.net, you can buy everything all at once. You can buy Diablo 2 with Lord of Destruction and a digital strategy guide in the uh, the Battle Chest edition uh, that's on Battle.net. And Battle.net account, uh, make it for free, that way you can play Hearthstone for free, um, you can play you know, Diablo, th uh, Diablo 3, Starcraft 2. Um, all these games, you can also download the old Warcraft Battle Chest for Warcraft 3, which is Reign of Chaos, and then the Frozen Throne. We might play that once I get my Aver Media for a power hour, because I love that game as well. But Diablo 2, in my opinion, probably the most solid game Blizzard has ever made. It's lasted. I mean, you can see how many people are still playing religiously. Hell, you can even see... Go to YesGamers.com to buy gold. They still sell gold in Diablo 2. So, I mean, this game... The last patch came out four years ago, which means they supported the game for 10 years with brand new content patches. And, you know, that's something you don't see all the time. So, it's an amazing... This is a bygone era. Diablo 3 is fantastic, and it's rad now that Reaper of Souls is out. But there's something about Diablo 2. There's something about it. Probably it's Deckard Kane saying, Stay a while and listen! But... That's it, man. Let me... Let me quit out here. Say bye to all these nice people. See you, gang. Power hour. Expansion character expires in 10 days. I think you have to play an hour and a half for that expires in 10 days thing to go away. But that's it. US East. Oh... So nice, so nice, so nice. So we're going to exit out right there. But this has been Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction, one of my favorite games ever. This is Bringing Power Hour, episode number 7 to a close. Thank you all so much for the support. I love you guys. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash hobo. You can probably see the little logo on the bottom right that I did. A nice fancy thing to make it 16 by 9 widescreen. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter. You're going to know when I go live, what games I'm going to be playing. I take all my questions there. Um, I do get a few on Tumblr, but I check Tumblr like twice a month. Um... That, that's about it. Of course, if you're watching live, thank you so much. Be sure to hit the follow button. Um, yeah, for NitroBeer.com, Full Screen Incorporated, and me, Wes Gardner, this has been the Power Hour. Thank you all so much. We're going to see you next time. And until then, be sure to power up. Peace, guys. <laughs>